Your screenplay is complete, but you have a problem. You've read the whole thing over and over again, but something is just not feeling right. How do you identify a problem if you can't figure out where it is? Today, I'll suggest a few hacks to help you troubleshoot the problem areas in your screenplay and put the story back on track. So here's how I go about problem solving when I feel like my screenplay is lacking something. I start by making a scene list. It doesn't have to be elaborate. It doesn't have to be highly detailed. I can use bullet points and a single line to describe what happens in the scene. For example, scene one, Johnny has overslept and missed his train to work. Scene two, Johnny is hurriedly getting dressed while also being on the phone with his boss. Scene three, a newly fired Johnny is on the sidewalk with a cardboard box that contains all of his work stuff. When your scene list is ready, it's time to plot out your screenplay. You can do this either analog or digital. I prefer to use pen and paper. So what I do is I get together a set of A4 sheets and glue them together until I have one long sheet of paper. Draw a horizontal line across the middle of that entire sheet and that is your baseline. Now you start plotting points on this sheet that correspond with the emotion of each scene. What that means is positive emotions or highs get spots above the baseline and negative emotions or lows get spots below the baseline. In the example I gave before, Johnny wakes up anxious. So that's already below the baseline. His anxiety grows in the next scene. So the next point is even lower than the first one. In the third scene, he is fired, which means that would probably be the lowest point in that act. Once you've blotted your entire screenplay this way, join the dots and you have the emotional graph of your screenplay. Too many dots in the middle, your screenplay might be lacking emotional heft. Not enough low points, you may have gone too easy on your protagonist. Too many high points, your protagonist may already have everything they want, in which case, why would anybody want to watch this movie? We're not done yet. Now you draw vertical lines that indicate the ends of act one, two, and three. Step back again and take a look. Is act one too long? This means you've spent too much time on setup. Is it possible that there's no low point at the end of act two? Is your climax feeling too rushed? This might again mean that there is some sort of structural problem. Billy Wilder said, if you have a problem with the third act, the real problem is in the first act. Your scene list itself could reveal problems with your structure. You can see at a glance whether or not your main character is moving the story forward. You will be able to tell if an important secondary character just disappears from large portions of act two. You will also be able to tell if you're repeating yourself. If that is the case, you may be able to combine or even delete certain scenes or characters. Your scene list will also tell you whether the plot of your movie or episode is easy to follow. Always remember this simple fact. It's okay to challenge your audience, but you should never leave them feeling so lost that they prefer to just stop watching a movie. Just rereading a screenplay again and again is a great way for me to hate my script, my writing, and eventually myself. So now when I finish a screenplay, I map it out with a scene list or a graph to re-examine the structure of the story. It grants me a fresh perspective on the work, it allows me to identify the problem areas, and once in a while, it even shows me the way forward. Do you have any techniques you use to visualize your screenplay differently? Leave a comment below to let me know how that works. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you are already subscribed, don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified when our next video goes live. Thank you for watching.